Hey there Blockheads, I'm Taylor Martin, director here at Pewaukee Lake Sailing School. We're back here in Pewaukee today to talk a little bit about some spare parts essentials that you can carry on your boat with you in case anything does go wrong on the water. So we'll start with our life jacket here, and on my life jacket I just carry the bare bones basics of what I need so that it doesn't get in my way when I'm sailing. Clip to my life jacket here, we have a couple of different things. We'll start with our electrical tape, really the most basic piece that you can carry with you. Works great if you have to rebuild a universal on the water, if you have to tape telltales to your shrouds, if you need a band-aid on the water, any sort of that stuff can be done with this electrical tape. We also have clipped to the life jacket here a couple of different types of shackles. We have just a typical stamped shackle with a pin and a ring. We have a twist shackle here, and then we have another size of stamped shackle here. And the reason we carry a couple of different types of shackles, I like the stamped shackle because you have the pin and the ring and the shackle for backup parts. Uh, and I like the twist shackle on my life jacket because the twist shackle tends to be a little bit more specialty one that's hard to recreate with just a stamped shackle. We also have a few extra just split rings on here so that I don't have to cannibalize my whole shackle if I just need that ring. The ring tends to go missing more often than any other part on the boat. It's good to have a couple of extra backups and a couple of different sizes as well. We also have clip to my life jacket or how it all attaches this more heavy duty shackle and I like to carry some more heavy duty parts with me on the water in case anything is a high load application like I need to be towed back in or I need to tow somebody back in any of that sort of stuff it's good to have a more rugged shackle. Also in here I have a couple of different types of whistles and it's good to carry a whistle with you as a sailor on the water it's a good essential part of your safety equipment. And then finally, we have a couple of different types of line, and I would say that the line is one of the most important things that I carry on the boat with me, or on my life jacket with me. And here we have one type of line that's really just Opti sail tie, and this is great for really low load applications. So retying your hiking strap, if you have to lash your vang back to your, or to your boat uh, in light wind, any of that sort of stuff, this Opti sail tie is great for that. Pre-cut to length, so I don't have to worry about that on the water. I also carry with me some Spectra here, which is a little bit more high load application. This Spectra has a really good braking strength and I can use it on my main sheet block in heavy wind, my vang in heavy wind, any of that sort of stuff where maybe this Opti sail tie just wouldn't cut it. So away from the life jacket, if I'm on a, if I'm on a boat that has some storage space, I can carry a ditty bag here that I can either on a 420 put in the spinnaker pouch or if I'm in a laser I put it in a dry bag and clip it around the mast, that sort of thing. And in here we have a lot of the same stuff that's on the life jacket, just extra parts, and then some different stuff as well. First thing on top here, we have a couple of different types of knives, and I like to carry the knives in the ditty bag rather than on my life jacket, just so they're further away from my face. And we have two different types here, one that has a marlin spike on it so that I can undo knots, and one without the marlin spike. And the one without the marlin spike has this slot here that acts as a shackle key, which is very helpful. And whatever tools you're carrying with you on the water, make sure that they serve multiple purposes. They can do a couple of different things for you. We also have in here a spare universal, and I said we can fix it with the electrical tape, but it's also good to just have a backup universal. These tend to go wrong as well, uh, often as often as the ring dings go away. So it's good to have a backup. Some basic first aid, just a wrap. We have some more electrical tape, and we also have, of course, some sunscreen. Excellent to have on the water when you're sailing all day. And then we have bungee in here just in case where you're tying the line to can't be just line and needs to be bungee. There are a couple of applications like that on your Opti, on your 420, and on your laser as well. And we also have, of course, cassette tape, right? The essential telltale on the water. Other than that, in here just tends to be backup spare parts for what's on my life jacket, right? I have a couple of different sizes and types of shackles in here, some more pins, some more heavy duty carabiners in case I have to do any towing on the water or any riding of other boats with a riding line. We also have some plugs, and plugs are great to carry on the boat uh, if you don't have duct tape or can't keep your finger in the plug while you're sailing. We have a gooseneck fitting as well for the 420, and this one is super important to carry with you, especially on 420s or boats with this type of gooseneck fitting because it's very hard to replicate just with shackles and pins safely. 
And other than that, anything else that I want to carry on the water, I can tend to carry in a bigger bag or on a coach boat. And that might look like uh, carrying an extra tennis ball for your tennis ball plug or carrying any sort of sail tape that you might need. And I don't tend to carry any other tape besides this electrical tape, but sail tape can be really good to have on the water. Not super good if it gets soaked in your ditty bag. So make sure if you're carrying it, carrying it in a plastic bag or in a dry bag. And if you can't fix your boat on the water with what's on this table, you should probably head in for the day or call for some help. And thank you guys for watching Blockheads. This is Taylor Martin at Pewaukee Lake Sailing School.